It's Nate Moe, I tune in to Smack Like TV. My baby mother think I'm tripping with this rap shit. Keep spending money on it, I ain't making back shit. My brother called it M1, he can't see his son. No crackers let a burn a nigga, they won't see him done. Nate Ball, artist from Riverdale, Maryland. I just uh, dropped the uh, tape, Street Therapy. Y'all can go check that out on so all platforms. Uh, how you get your name, Nate Ball, bro? Uh, that's just from um, an older, older dude I went to school with. He, he used to call me that. I yeah. just took around the way for her. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Any relations to the Bone Thugs or how many? Nah, people, nah, man? nah. I like them, though, but nah. All nah, right. he, I don't even know why. He just started calling me Nate Ball. Yeah. I, just, I like this. I that took it with stuck, him. Yeah. That shit stuck, man. That shit like that. Yeah. How long you been doing the music, man? Shit, I've been rapping, like, I've been rapping since I was, like, 13. Yeah. But I just really started taking it serious probably, like, probably, like, three years ago when I first dropped my uh, tape, 1991. That's the first yeah. tape I dropped, yeah. That's why I started taking it serious. You were born 91? Yeah, 91. Real loud 90s, baby. Yeah. All right. And what, uh, what made you take it serious? Just for, for the feedback I was getting. Everybody kept like pressing me to rap, like man, you should do it, you should do it, man. You yeah, really yeah. got, you really, you know, got a story to tell. You can rap. Yeah, I was really. like, you know what? All right, fuck it. Everybody else rapping. Let me, let me, let me, let me see what I got to. Yeah, it ain't too many out uh, Riverdale that's spitting for real. That yeah. I can think of. I mean, dude, dude, dude. Yeah, dude. Um, uh, shit. Rest in peace, Aqu Aquas. Baby, I get no um, Boo out my man, Los. There's some other dudes, Lil Kenny. They on the other side. They rap. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 Riverdale got a movement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No questions. What's that like growing up in Riverdale? Uh, shit, going to Riverdale, like I always say, it's, it was good. It had a good parts and it's bad parts. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't all bad personally for me. Right. It wasn't all bad, but then it had some bad parts. You know what I'm saying? No questions. Uh, it, was like, it was, it has ups and downs for real. Yeah. Shit, uh, you was in the Go-Go's? Yeah, I, um, yeah, I, I listened to Go-Go. Yeah, I went, I went to a few Go-Go's and shit like that. You got any top bands? Uh, shit, I'm a back y'all. I like I like yeah. back y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I like back. Uh, I like ABM, New Impressions, uh, CCB. That's when I first started listening to Go Go. Yeah. That's like, and I was like in the seventh, eighth grade. That's probably my first favorite band, CCB. Yeah. yeah. Nah, they got the cranking. So, with your first project, how long did that process take making that joint? Shit, that. Like, what's uh, the name of that joint again? The first, the first part I did was 1991. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that joint was um, shit. That joint, that joint. The process wasn't that long for it. It was like probably a month for real. Because okay. I was just making songs and then just picking from what I was going to put on it. Yeah. It's only like so you six had a songs. songs. Yeah, I had, I, had, I had about 15 songs okay. to pick from and okay. shit. And I just put that joint, put them joints together. As far as like making your songs, you write or like how that, how that process usually Yeah, I write. Okay. Yeah, I like to write. I'm a writer. I can yeah. tell how you break this shit down. Yeah. I just got ass. Yeah. Some people, what's your goals with the music, bro? For real, for real, man, I'm just trying to, like, just get people to hear me, you know what I'm saying? Get a, a solid little solid, um, uh, fan base and just yeah. tour. I ain't asking for too much, for I don't want to be mainstream or nothing like that, for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could take the, uh, like, high currency, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how you do his thing, you feel me? He got like, his lane. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He got his own lane, you feel me? And people support him. Yeah. That's pretty much for real, man. That's all right. Um, what you, what have you seen, like, so far, jumping into the music, like, just in the area, like, as far as your experience is so far. What you mean, like, as far as, like... The ups, downs, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. I mean, for real, for real, I ain't really see too much. I mean, it's a it's a, it's a, a lot of talent out here. I just, I feel like niggas got to, um... I feel like niggas got to, um, you know, interact more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas, niggas ain't got to be... Kumbaya, it ain't gotta be teamwork all the time, but I feel like niggas gotta start niggas acknowledging niggas. niggas. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I see you doing your thing. Let's do something. Or oh, we don't gotta do nothing, but just let a nigga know, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying? He, you see. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? I feel like a lot of artists in the area, they don't like to do that because they don't want to give a, another nigga shine. That's corny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah. I ain't know that. If I see something I like, I'm gonna let you know I like it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, because I'm a fan of music. Nah, no first. question. Oh. Who's some of your influences growing up? Uh, shit, of course, uh, Biggie, Tupac, Nas, I grew up on Guru, Jada Kid, that's my favorite rapper, Jada Styles, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Jada is my man, who else, um, Scarface, shit, I grew up on Ludacris, I'm a 90s baby, so, yeah. Luke One Point Mystical is my favorite rapper, nah, you know yeah. what I'm saying, so I grew up on all that. So what type of style would you say you had, like, as, as 
it relates to the rapping you do? I mean, my music, I feel like the type of style I got, it's like, it's real life. It's shit that's going on, shit I've been through, shit I've seen people go through, everything around me. It's a, my, my music about growth, growth too. Yeah. It's about growth, you know what I'm saying? It's about, it's about uh, I, 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 positivity, you feel me? Like, we, we all go through negative shit, but I try to... Try to I try to add both. You feel me? It just yeah. can't be straight negative shit. You know, you talking right. the whole time. I try to add both. Yeah. Cause you know what I'm saying like I got kids and shit. I'm I'm a, I'm 29. I'm a, I'm I'm a man. You feel me? So yeah. I can't be just pushing the wrong message. You know what I'm right. saying? So you been working with anybody in the area or outside the area? Yeah. Um. Shit. I've been um. I've been I've been working with a few of us like uh Merlin. Me and Merlin just did a joint. Murder Monroe. No Merlin. Murder? Yeah, from okay. like, uh, from Oh, Merlin, Murder, Murder. Alright, alright, alright. I right, mean, right, right. we just did a street uh drink called Street Cry. I be working on my man Lil Los, uh Lil Young Nigga from my way and Lil Judah. Um a dude from O'Connor named Jamal J. I've been working with um some producers from like out the country, like it's an Indian dude. Yeah. He be sending me beats, like he did the uh Can't High Envy joint. Oh, yeah. on, on the on the, on the recent tape I just did, yeah. yeah. So I've been working. I've been working. The tape you just dropped. What's the name of that? That's Street Therapy. Street. Hi. All right. So where the concept of that joint come from? Just man, I just it was a man like uh, I was going through a, like a lot of shit with this mm -hmm. during the tape. Like uh, my man passed. Then my other man got locked up. With, like a couple of my friends got locked up um, during during the process of the tape. It was just a lot. I had a child on the way. You feel yeah, it was just yeah. a lot going on. I just felt like it's, it was therapy for me as far as other people too. Like it was therapy mm -hmm. for me to get that shit off my chest. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's called the street therapy. All right. That's all right. Yeah. Um, how long you take to record that joint? It took longer than it was supposed to, man, because it just kept catching L after L. Like, so it took, it probably, it probably, it took like, it was supposed to take like a month, you know what I'm saying? But it took like two months. Okay. Yeah. What, uh, what's your favorite song of that joint? Uh, Reason to Smile. All right. Yeah, I just dropped the video for that joint. How about it? I actually that next. Yeah. Uh, what what other visuals do you got out? We gonna come to that joint, but besides that, what other visuals you got out? Shit, I got a uh, Mother's Prayer, Hell Hole, In Here, um, the outro. That's all off um, in real life. I got um, off 1991. I at my first tape. I got Gang. I did 5 a.m. in the trenches. I think that's it for them joints. Oh, I did rain. And off this new tape, I did um Reason to Smile. And um Yeah, that that's it so far. And I got I got another video coming out like in a couple of weeks. Alright, so uh the concept behind Reason to Smile, how you come up with that? Why did, why is that your favorite? That's my favorite because it's just like a it's a, a feel good song. Like it makes yeah. you feel good, you know what I'm saying? It made me feel good. So and like how I came up with that joint, uh for real, for I wrote that joint in, in um, after my girl had the baby. You know, we have a baby. You got to stay in the hospital for a couple yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. So I was in that joint. I was just bored writing music. I had, I had already recorded the um, the first verse to it, and I ain't have a hook. So I was just in the um, I was in the, my bed in the hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just came up with the hook. So after I got out of the hospital, I went to the studio the next day yeah, and just finished the joint. That's how I came apart. That's that motivation, right? Yeah, here. man. Cause my man passed. Two days before I had a baby, two two days before my daughter came, so it was just like, damn, you know what I'm saying? It's a reason to smile. Yeah. You know what I'm so, let's say you just had like a, a unlimited budget, right? You would go get three features outside the area. Mm -hmm. Who would it be? I ain't gonna lie, I want a feature from Erica Badu. Yeah, Erica Badu. Yeah, most definitely Erica Badu. I get a feature with Jay Z, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's still killing shit. Yeah. Jay Z. And then um, J. Cole, yeah. The tape already dropped, right? Yeah. And you said Reason to Smile, that joint dropped too? Yeah, the video dropped like uh, Monday, I think. Well, what's today? Nah, it dropped like last week. Okay. Yeah. How is the area uh, when it comes to like your music? Like when you, how the feedback? It be, it be good, man. I get a lot of good feedback. Like, I be thinking it's just going to be from older niggas, but it be young niggas. Yeah. Females. So it's just like, all right, that's, that's cool, like. Can't uh, second guess yourself, I right. guess, you know? Name, like, your top five movies. My top five, it don't matter what what type of... Uh, nah. Damn, that's good. I like, I like you, know, you ever heard a movie called Oh? 
With uh, the ball nigga, what? Uh, yeah, Mackay yeah. Pfeiffer. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that's a weird movie, but I don't yeah. know why I love that joint. That joint is all right. Yeah, yeah. that's joint. Uh, as far as comedy, like, uh, Don't Be a Menace. Yeah. Top five movie, that joint, that joint. Belly. Mm. Shawshank Redemption. That was my, that's one of my favorite movies. And then, um, it's another low key joint. Just off the top of my head, it's another low key joint. Uh, what's that joint called? Um, Prison Song? Yeah, the joint used to come on BT. Yeah, that joint, yeah, that joint used to come on BT. <laughs> that joint was OC. Yeah, that's my joint. Yeah. All right, all right. What you guys say to the youth, man? Uh, what, what's, what's the message you got for the youth? Uh, message, I can, message I can say to the youth, man, is just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't, um, don't follow after no niggas, man. And you, you ain't got to be a street nigga to be cool. You ain't got to be stupid to be cool. You can be smart. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't got to go to the streets. You could do sports. You could be, you could do anything you want to do. The streets ain't the only way. You know what I'm saying? That's what I can tell to you.